Hey everybody. So today um, I decided to come out into the potager after work with a glass of wine just to relax um, and maybe do some um, pruning um, on the zucchinis, um, try to expose some of those blooms, you know, so the bees can find them and other pollinators can find the flowers easier. Um, and I think I wanna um, do a little pruning on the tomatoes remove any suckers and kind of some of the lower leaves because there's a few of the plants over here that look really bushy um, and I don't want to promote any kind of um, fungal issues or you know pest issues with it being so bushy down there at the bottom. I am going to harvest a couple of things. Um, before I get started picking and pruning, two things I want to show you. One is really good and beautiful and one is like WTF what happened so here we go okay so the really beautiful thing is my st. Patrick rose how perfect how utterly perfect is that bloom can you see that and like I said it's a yellow but it's kind of a green tinted yellow and it looks so beautiful with that uh, golden edge Duranta back there. Yeah. St. Patrick looking glorious. Glorious. Beautiful. So that is my something beautiful. Now over here in the tomatoes is what the hell. I found a bag, one of my organza bags on the ground and a chewed up green tomato like it's like an animal tried to chew it through the bag what the crap so yeah that's weird um so i guess they're not even safe when they're in the bags something's getting in here i have noticed some broken branches on some plants so i'm gonna have to watch my big tomatoes here because something knows that there's a tomato in that bag they're not dum-dums they know there's tomatoes in there Anyway, so like this tomato plant here, I want to prune that up and get rid of some suckers. That's that one's really bushy there. Um, and I finally want to get all my radish pulled. I did pick a pepper, my sweet banana pepper. Look how beautiful that is. Lovely. I only have one ready right now. Um, and then the zucchini here. Um, so those are nasturtium flowers. There's zucchini and squash flowers in there, but they're kind of hidden by a lot of the foliage. So I'm gonna reduce a little bit of the foliage in there. Um, and I do have a small squash. I think I'm gonna pick that. I think I'm gonna pick it before a bug or an animal gets it. So let me get set up and get to work.
it's getting late and I'm getting tired. So, so I think I may come back out tomorrow. Okay, so it's been two days. So it's not exactly the next day. Um, yeah, we're just gonna finish it up. Okay. giant grasshoppers that I don't like at all because they fly and if one lands on me I will run around like a crazy person you're gonna think I'm on fire Look how big he is anyway just want you to know this is gonna slow me down today because I'm gonna be looking for these guys and I hate you just want you to know I hate you mr. grasshopper okay So that scary guy's still there, so I'm just gonna show you the zucchini from here. And uh, it looks good, I can see all the flowers, most of the flowers, but look at the tomatoes, look at the difference. Now that I've limbed them up and thinned them out, much better. And I have a yellow pear that's almost ripe, but it looks weird, like it has some weird, that doesn't look tasty. Anyway. But everything looks good. I think we're gonna have we're gonna have good airflow. These tomatoes are getting quite large. And I did the front and the back. So much better. Much, much, much better. I'm pleased. Very pleased. I think I'm gonna call this done. Um, I will fertilize. I did bring out a bag of fertilizer and I'll go ahead and fertilize all the tomatoes and some other things while I'm out here. And all the radish are picked and I think I'm going to have to pickle those because those things are so darn spicy. Oh my gosh. So spicy. And just in case this rose has petals falling off tomorrow, I just want to show you the orange. Really gorgeous rose that I don't know the name of, but it's beautiful. And St. Patrick. Look at that. Perfection. Perfection. Alright, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.